is Shelby K, and I make videos all about living that vet tech life. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the realities of burnout. Burnout is a very real thing, and unfortunately, it is a reality of really any care providing profession, such as doctors, things like that. And I have been struggling with it very hard for the last probably month or so. So I just wanted to do a little video about what is burnout and kind of just be honest about my experience with it and kind of what I've been doing to kind of bring myself out of it. So let's start with the definition. What exactly is burnout? Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines burnout as exhaustion of physical or emotional strength or motivation, usually as a result of prolonged stress or frustration. So essentially it's feelings of frustration, exhaustion, either ment mentally or physically, that comes from long periods of stress or frustration or feeling overworked underappreciated or just having long periods of time where you just don't really take care of yourself both mentally and physically. It happens most often in jobs but it can also happen with like hobbies or just anything that you're doing in life burnout can happen with. For me personally I feel like mine was definitely coming from my job. We, I've been feeling very overworked, very underappreciated at my job recently and also I feel like it has come a lot from my whole study thing that I have going on. If you guys didn't see last week's video, I have been taking an alternative route of getting my vet tech license that requires me to do all of my studying for the vt &E, all of the stuff that I would learn in tech school, I'm kind of trying to learn on my own. And I feel like it's been very stressful for me because I don't really have a sense of direction. I don't have a set curriculum that I need to follow. I don't really know what it is that I'm supposed to be studying, so I feel like it's been very stressful and overwhelming for me to kind of figure out what it is I need to be studying to make sure I can pass the vt &E. So that mixed with work has had me very, just feeling very burnt out. How do I know it's burnout? One, I'm physically exhausted all the time. I literally just want to sleep. I have been taking naps on my lunch, which I hate doing. I come home and I just want to pass out. It's just, it's been horrible. Not only that, I've just had no motivation to do anything. As you guys can tell, I haven't uploaded anything on this channel for several weeks. I haven't had the motivation to study. I haven't had the motivation to really just get up off the couch. I have just been sitting and doing nothing because I just have not had the motivation or energy to do anything else. Not only that, my mood has really been affected. I have been grumpy. I've been sad. I've just, I've not been feeling myself. I've been feeling very frustrated and just pissed off at the world essentially and it's really caused some negative things in my life and I'll get into that in a little bit here. But it's really just affected my mood horribly and it's just had me in a really negative headspace. And another thing that I have been experiencing that comes with burnout and is very popular coming with burnout is I have not enjoyed what I've been doing. I've not been enjoying going to work and my job is one of those things that I have absolutely loved from day one. And it's been really hard because I've had a lot of thoughts of, is this really what I want to do? Do I really want to go through all this work to get my tech license when I'm not even sure I like vet med anymore? And this is very common with burnout because you get tired and you feel overworked and overstressed and you're just like, I'm not enjoying this anymore. It's very common to have thoughts of, I am not enjoying this anymore and maybe I should be doing something else. It might not be how you actually feel, but in that moment, those are the kind of thoughts you're having because you are feeling so stressed, frustrated, tired, and it just, it's not bringing you joy anymore. And then the last part about burnout that I wanna talk about that I feel like I have really been experiencing is that it can trickle in and affect every other part of your life. For me personally, my burnout was affecting everything. As I said, it was affecting my mood a lot, and that was affecting my relationship, both at home with my boyfriend and then with just with my friends because I was always just on edge. I was starting fights left and right. I was starting arguments left and right. I was kind of projecting my problems on other people um, and kind of creating problems that weren't actually there because I didn't know how to deal with the feelings of burnout and I was kind of trying to find out where these feelings of frustration and stress were coming from. I was creating these problems to try to have something to blame my feelings on when really I have discovered that it was just burnout from my job and my school. And it really affected me ne negatively. And because I was feeling so negative all the time, I started picking up some really bad habits. I was eating really bad. I stopped trying to be active because I'm trying to be a little more active. Not only that, I got in a really bad habit of going out and drinking every weekend with my friends. And that became kind of a toxic habit because, because the drinking was not helping my negative mindset. And it just was kind of helping fester those feelings. And 
So every, everything was just kind of a landslide and the burnout was affecting every other aspect of my life. Finally, I got to the point I just had to sit down and I had to reevaluate what I was doing and be like, okay, why do I feel this way? What is it? And that's when I finally came to terms with, it was work, it was the schoolwork, and I just, I was in a very bad headspace. And finally I was able to identify it and figure out how I'm going to change that. So that brings me to the second part of this video, which is what can you do to fight burnout, to not only help prevent burnout, but if you are feeling burnt out, what can you do to kind of help bring yourself back from that? The first thing is to get yourself out of the situation. You can do this a number of ways. Ideally, if it's work or school that's stressing you out, try to take some time off, even if all you can take is a day. I took a mental health day to kind of get myself back in check. That's the day that I really sat down and evaluated everything that was going on because I felt like I needed to, otherwise I was gonna have a mental breakdown and I was just not gonna be able to figure everything out. So if you can take some time off work, if you can take a mini vacation, that would be great. If you can give yourself some time to just get away and just kind of forget everything, kind of refresh, have time to think and kind of reset your priorities, that would be great. But not everyone can do that, so if you can take a day, that's great. If you can't even do that, just, you know, go for a walk, get out of your normal environment, like go for a walk, go sit in a park, just do something where you can just kind of sit and reflect on what's been going on, what you're feeling, why you're feeling that way, and that will really help kind of refresh your brain. Just kind of take some time for yourself, get out of that situation, even if all you can do is for five minutes, 10 minutes, just get yourself out of that situation and just kind of breathe and relax. My second tip for getting yourself out of a rut or burnout or whatever it is you're experiencing is to do a little self-care. Now, this can be your typical self-care, you know, physically self-care, you know, do face masks, do hair masks, take a nice shower, that kind of thing, make yourself feel physically refreshed. But I think even more important is to do a mental, kind of some mental self-care. Journal out your feelings, really work through what you're feeling and why you're feeling that way. Because once you identify the problem, it's easier to fix the problem. And then another important step is to kind of do some planning, you know, realign yourself with your goals. What is it that you're trying to accomplish? Do you really want to go for whatever it is you've been working for? Just realign yourself with the person that you're trying to become or the person that you, you know, used to be before this burnout and this rut happened. Take some time to kind of plan how are you going to get back there. So for me, the biggest part was trying to figure out, I decided that I still love vet med. Don't worry guys, I'm not going anywhere. I still love vet med, it's still what I wanna do. I still wanna get my tech license. But for me personally, I have decided to go a different route. So as of this last Wednesday, I believe, I am officially enrolled in the Penn Foster Vet Tech program. So I am doing official school now. I just feel like it's gonna be a lot easier for me to actually have sort of set courses, set goals, set requirements, set curriculum for me to study off of. I just think it's gonna help me so much in the long run. It's probably gonna take a little bit longer for me to get to my license now, but I feel like this is gonna be the best option for me. So I am no longer doing the alternative method. I am officially a vet tech student as of this week, and I just think that that's gonna really help me get back on track. And then my next tip for dealing with burnout is just talk to someone, you know? Talk to your best friend, talk to your mom, talk to your boyfriend, girlfriend, talk to a therapist if you really feel like you need to go that route. Talk to someone, get those feelings out, and just, as I said, just get them out of your head because it'll be a lot easier to evaluate them and look at them objectively if you can get them out. And especially if you're having some difficulty at work that you feel like could be fixed, talk to your boss, talk to your coworker, see if there's something that can be done, you know, see if you can change your work schedule around so you're not working six days a week or something. Just, you know, if something can be done, talk to your boss about it and just see. The worst they're gonna say is no. And then finally, thankfully mine didn't come to this, but if you find that burnout keeps occurring and keeps occurring and keeps occurring for the same situation, maybe you need to permanently get yourself out of that situation. If you constantly find yourself feeling burnt out on your job and hating it and thinking you should do something else, maybe you should be doing something else. Maybe that job is not for you. Maybe not permanently, but maybe just for a while, you know, take a long extended break explore other options and see if there's something else out there that's better for you. Mental health is so, so, so important. You don't wanna put yourself in a situation that's gonna constantly stress you out, that's gonna constantly make you feel overworked. It's not good for your mental health. And so 
get yourself out of that situation if you find yourself always in this situation. It might be time to think about moving on with your life. So that is all I have to share about burnout. I hope you guys found this video informative. As I said, I've been dealing with it myself for about a month and I just wanted to kind of share what I've been dealing with because it is such such a real thing in our profession. It just, it sucks. If you guys have dealt with burnout, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you did to bring yourself out of it or what you are doing to bring yourself out of it. Also, let me know if you guys have any video ideas. As always, I thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.